anyway, speaking of that, let me go on to my, before we run out of time here, technology. I think uh, a lot of different things. My, big, my biggest technological change this year was an Apple Watch 4. This thing is making me money. This thing is going to go through upgrades and changes. I don't need my, to take my, my heavy phone, my, my uh, X phone with me all the time now. I can make my phone calls. I've received phone calls, emails, texts. Uh, I can listen to po I can listen to audiobooks all through this little device here, okay? And it works really well. One phone call, one deal is worth the investment. I don't I don't I'm not about spending a lot of money, but some things are good. 5G. I think 5G is going to be a big bust this year. It's going to take a, a year or two. I don't. I, I'm, I put meh next to that. Um, it, it just it's it's they're not ready. It's going to use too much battery, and it's going to cost too much right off the thing. I think uh, Apple's going to get big into Apple Entertainment and live streaming this year. You're going to be able to watch movies on this little bitty screen, and it's, and this is where it's going. Self-driving cars, eh? I I can see some companies starting to use it in Disneyland and places like that, or ho or special hotel resorts and everything. It's not going to be a big deal this year as far as that. That's that's what I have on technology. The economy, most of you guys hit it right, the nail right on the head. Um, I think the economy is, is very emotional, but the fundamentals of our economy are still very strong. Unemployment is low. People have jobs. They are making money. They are saving a little bit more money. Um, interest rates are going up, and that will affect real estate. We are going to see real estate have an adjustment. That, mean, that doesn't mean it's going to be 2008 or anything like that, but we're going to see major markets. Las Vegas is seeing it already. Um, uh, Florida, um, I, I believe, is adjusting right now. Inventory is going up because fewer people can afford while we're going through these quarter point changes all the time. That does have a residual effect on the economy. Fewer people are going to be able to afford properties right now. We're going to see some panic selling. Some people are going to do the chicken little sky is falling. We're seeing it already. We saw it last year. Oh, the bubble, the bubble. Remember that stuff? And there was no bubble. We're going to see adjustments in, in real estate. When inventory, it's basic Keynesian economics. When supply is high and interest rates go up, what happens to prices? Fewer buyers, prices come down. I see this as an opportunity, especially for lease purchasing. When I have more motivated sellers in the market, I can do more creative real estate. I can negotiate better deals. I love lease purchasing because I have leverage and I have very minimal liability and investment. So if I have more people who are panicking or can't sell a home because of life changes or, or whatever, that makes it better for us. So I see this as an opportunity for many of us with this adjustment. We're going to see a lot of people overreact. We're seeing it in the stock market already. We're going to, you know, if it's back to the million dollar emotional rule, people make decisions emotionally. They get scared. They're going to hear some expert on TV or the internet who says, oh my God, the, you know, interest rates are high and, and inventory and, and they're going to get hysterical and overreact. The thing is you have to remove yourself from all that emotion and use your intelligence, your logic, uh, or basically, we're going into 2020. What traditionally happens in presidential election years? What traditionally happens? Re what do politicians like to want to do to get reelected? The economy uh, gets better. The economy gets better. They spend more money. They do more programs and things like that. So 2019 will be a year of adjustment. Okay, we're going to see some panicking in the stock market. We got certain key markets. Uh, we're going to see some, we're going to see definitely some drop in prices. Okay. But I don't think it's going to be anything like two. I think it's going to be very soft price drops, 5%, maybe as much as 10% in certain key markets. You have areas like California where the, the real estate is astronomical right now. And Seattle uh, went up tremendously uh, in the year. Florida uh, went up very high, New York. And you're going to see when the market gets slow, you're going to see a little bit of panic selling and it's going to screw up the comps and things like that. But it's going to recover. It's definitely going to recover going into 2020. But we're going to see some blips. It's going to be, it's going to be a very interesting year. Um, internationally, I think they're going to see when America gets the sniffles, okay, what happens to the rest of the world? What do they do? They get the cold, right? I, I think internationally, we're gonna, it's going to be a lot worse in Europe, maybe even Asia, 
because of what's going on in this country. We, if it happens in America, it, it starts a tsunami for other countries and other continents. Do we, haven't we seen that historically? Okay, and we're gonna, and, it, and it's, it's okay. We're gonna be okay here because we talk about sales and we talk about real estate. Real estate, is anyone gonna start living in a box behind the Walmart because real estate is going down in prices and inventory is increasing? Are people gonna radically change their lifestyle? They're gonna make minor adjustments. Instead of buying a home, they're gonna rent an apartment. Instead of buying a big McMansion, they might get a smaller home or a condo or something like that. Those are the adjustments I'm talking about in the market. So some of you might wanna concentrate on more economical real estate, um, mobile homes, um, mini houses, um, um, maybe more, um, more moderately priced developments or new developments. How many developers, this is our key here, a lot of developers are caught in the middle right now. They're building all these houses right now and we're seeing an adjustment in 2019. What's gonna happen to those developers? Are they gonna be more flexible uh, maybe on those new properties? Long term, uh, I have never lost money long term, knock on wood, on, on real estate investing. Uh, it's the best investment I've ever made. I've never had a stock or a bond or any, any type of traditional investment that has given me the returns that real estate has given me. So look at it on a long-term basis and you'll, you'll be fine even with these adjustments. Just don't get caught up in the whole emotional thing um, on that. Any, um, the politics are going to affect the economy and, and a lot of things here today. We've gone through a year of contention of politics. Is that a hello? Is that, yes, hello. You must have something important to say for interrupting. Okay, uh, <laughs> uh, it's con uh, we're seeing a year of con how many people here are sick of watching the news? I stop watching. It, it's just irritating. It's contentious. It's, it's, the worst thing in the world is go to a dinner party and and say the T word. Not tax. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're well, right. You know, uh, do, uh, is everybody too emotional right now? Once again, about you know about politics and things. We're going to see another year of that, and politics does affect business in America and, and a lot of different things. Uh, we're going to uh, we're going to go into another year of every, and I I don't want to get too political here, but it's going to be a very contentious year a very argument, it's distracting, it's emotional, it's not in our best interest. It doesn't help America. We don't build more roads and bridges, create more jobs when they're arguing about stupid shit, minor chicken shit and stuff like that. Uh, they need to sit down and work things out, but who knows? Uh, I, China, I, I, threw, I threw a little note here about China. I think China is uh, China's in deep, uh, deep, um, in, in, in deep, um, what's a good word? Uh, Mushu Gai Pan. Uh, China's in deep trouble right now. They have all, they need to resolve this problem with the U.S. And I think Trump wants another win. I believe in early in the first quarter. We're done. We're getting rid of this. Guy. You have been removed. Um, I'm going to, uh, we're going to see the China issue is going to be resolved. Um, I think uh, they both want to win, and it costs way too much money for both our country and theirs. Uh, we're both we're tied economically now, which is a good thing. That keeps the world a little safer. We both, you know, so 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 one bully started a fight, another bully exa exacerbated it. I think eventually they're both going to sit down and say we both won or something. Uh, that's what I hope anyway. I hope that's a prediction that that truly comes true. As uh, far as that, um, I've got a little thing here on weather. I have a prediction here. I think we're going to see some really bad hurricanes, especially in Florida and in the southeast there and everything. We've been seeing it for the last couple years. So maybe uh, maybe now's not a good time to buy beachfront property in that Florida, south of North Carolina and everything. Hey, Claudia. Hi, Claudia. Hi, everybody. Say, what's your prediction? <laughs> sure. Make a prediction. I told them I'm going to buy more books this year. Yeah, Gee, she okay? loves books. She reads more books than me. <laughs> Abs absolutely. Anyway, happy New Year, everybody. You too. Nice, happy New Year, oh, wait, I just got another prediction. Happy New Year. Tonight's going to be a nookie night. Oh, stop. I took a prediction. Oh, jeez. I got that prediction. <laughs> Will it come true? Oh, Claude, come on now. That's now awesome. it's not going to be. It's not going to be now. Buddy. <laughs> just found his way to the couch. <laughs> oh, no, That's geez. awesome. <laughs>
downstairs because he's no because he's been sick. I have. He's been sleeping downstairs. You're sleeping there tonight too. Oh, okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's humor in this. I like. Almost it. too much information, dear. There's children. There's children on the line. So watch out for those bad, bad hurricanes and tornadoes and things like that in the Midwest. I don't know what's going on with the weather, but I have the last 24, 36 months. Have we ever seen weather patterns like we've seen the last two, three years? It's been crazy. Yeah. And um, I, I see no, it's probably going to continue. I don't know if we're talking about uh, global warming or things like that, but something's going on definitely with the weather. Culture. Um, I'm seeing, I live in San Diego and I'm about an hour and a half from Denver. I'm seeing these annoying little electric scooters all over the place. Has anyone noticed them? Yes. They're oh, everywhere. About it. everywhere here. Everywhere. People <laughs> yeah. are getting and they just came out of nowhere they did an uber thing they just threw i don't know where they get the investment capital they just took these scooters and bikes and they just threw them out on the sidewalk and people are using them though in san diego you're in, walking on it used to be dangerous crossing the street in san diego it's dangerous walking on the sidewalk now in san diego i mean there are people zipping by you all over the place singing and out as a business, um, I think it's a cultural phenomenon that's going to be here to stay. Um, absolutely. Uh, I see that. I talked about self-driving car. Uh, marijuana, I got to talk about. I'm in Colorado and California just changed. We're seeing a, gig uh, a gigantic industry coming to bear here. Um, I have some friends who just visited from California. First thing they did when they got off the plane, guess where they went to? In the head store. Weed, weed land, yes. And we're yeah. seeing the big corporations coming into it right now. Um, we're also seeing cultural changes. There are uh, down uh, in a town nearby, they're opening up what is called a weed lounge. Okay. Have uh, that here in Phoenix already. Um, didn't Trump just pass the hemp law? The farm bill. Yeah, yeah. the farm bill. Yeah, the farm bill. Yeah. That's it. But, but that's different. Hemp is different from cannabis. Um, yeah, correct. Very. Correct. <laughs> but we're seeing hemp now products. Someone gave me for Christmas a big bottle of moisturizer. It's called hemp moisturizer. I don't know if it's better, but I feel good when I put it on my hands. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we're seeing we're seeing uh, shifts now. Uh, social clubs, cultural places, uh, things like. We're also seeing uh, abuse. We're seeing it in candy. My friend went and got gummy bears. He doesn't like to smoke, but he loves gummy bears with, with uh, THC in it. And things like that. That's a big business, and it's a cultural shift, whether you agree with it or not. It's definitely something that that is happening here. Um, what else do we have here? Um, health. Uh, I've got health here. America has a big obesity problem, a big problem. It's we're spending more money on health than we are in our defense budget, and it's only going to get worse with all the uh, you know with the uh, people of my generation retiring and getting older. We have a gigantic boomer population. Uh, that is not taking care of themselves. Our health costs are going to affect this economy. You know, we, it, it's a very contentious political subject, but health is costing us trillions of dollars, not even billions. And somehow we've got to get the word out about uh, more education about health and things like that, as far as that goes. What else do I have left here? Um, those are my predictions. My final prediction is that whatever I say, whatever other people do, um, you are still responsible for your life. You are in control of your life to a certain extent, and you are entitled to have the freedom you deserve by working on your sales skills, working on your own personal business, and 2019 will be the best year of your life. I guarantee that's the one prediction I will guarantee if you work hard at it. Great. Thank you, Claude.